Hello, my name is Dr. Mukhtar Ibrahim. I'm a cardiology consultant and uh, working at the Glenfield Hospital, University Hospital of Leicester. I'm specialized in treating patients with uh, arrhythmia and I'm um, uh, interested in cardiac devices and electrophysiology service. So first of all, let me introduce the idea of pacemaker. As most people know, pacemaker is very well established treatment for people with slow heart rate. The pacemaker is an electrical generator connected to wires to the heart that we place it in different chambers of the heart to restore the normal heart beats and rhythm. So the idea of pacemaker was started nearly 50 years ago. Over the last decade, there has, there has been focus more on the quality of pacing rather than the quantities. So, so the pacemaker, we set up the heart rate between 60 to 100, for example, but there, are, there is a major difference between the normal heart impulse and normal heart pacing and the artificial pacemakers we place. So let me just uh, give you, show you a, a, a figure. So the pacemaker is a small electrical generator we place under the left collar board with one wire normally going to the right bottom chambers or some pacemaker, this is called single chamber pacemaker or dual chamber pacemaker with a wire in the right top chamber and another lead or wire in the right bottom chamber. And there is something that is called five ventricular pacing or CRT where the pacemaker is set in the right top chamber, right bottom chamber, and the third wire to the left bottom chamber. What is the main difference between the normal impulse and the pacemaker impulse is by putting the pacemaker lead, we place only one chamber, the right bottom chamber, and then the impulse conduct to the other side passively. While in our body, the normal, the normal impulse go in a very fast electric wiring to go to the right and left at the same time. So this is the idea that has been recently introduced, which is conduction system basing. And instead of pacing one chamber before the other, we stimulate the normal electrical cable to both chambers at the same time. So the heart is stimulated in a normal physiologic way with both chambers contract at the same time. The idea of conduction system basing came because when we base the heart with a standard pacemaker, 50 25 to 50% of patients will develop heart failure in 10 years time. So in order to prevent and treat that, we move to the idea of putting the pacemaker lead in the junction between the two bottom chambers or basing the normal wiring on the left side. This is called his bundle basing and lift bundle basing. Cardiac resynchronization therapy or CRT is a well-established treatment for heart failure. About 25 to 50% of patients with heart failure has something we call electrical dyssynchrony. What does this mean? This means is the heart is having two top chambers, two bottom chambers. The bottom chambers, the main bumping chamber of the heart, one chamber contract before the other. So instead of having a normal biventricular contraction, one chamber contract in the other, one contract in the other. In heart failure people, people this, this synchrony make the heart failure worse. The CRT is a special type of pacemaker when we put one wire in the right ventricle and one lead in the left ventricle, trying to restore the normal biventricular contraction or synchronized movement of the heart. The conduction system basing is instead of we creating an artificial impulse at the right and at the left, we put the wire or the base maker lead in the wall between the two bottom chamber, just in the middle. So the impulse consume the normal electrical wiring to go to the post chamber together and restore the normal biventricular contraction. So this is the main difference between CRT and conduction system basing. So the indications for conduction system basing, this is a very new and unique technology. In the European and American uh, guidelines, the, the, the most established indication is patient who has a failed CRT therapy. So for many reasons, some patients can't have a CRT, either because they haven't got a, a target to the a left ventricular lead placement, or they had a CRT and the lead displaced several times, or there is a scarring, or occasionally the, the place where we put the left ventricular lead 
pace the, the phrenic uh, muscle or the muscle of respiration. So for people who have, have failed CRT, conduction system basing plays a major role to improve the heart resynchronization. However, there are other indications which are still under research. So people who is having any degree of heart failure and they require a pacemaker because their heart rate is slow, instead of putting a standard pacemaker, we can put a his bundle basing or a left bundle basing, the new conduction system basing, to prevent them and protect their heart from developing heart failure. Other indications, including patients with atrial fibrillation, very fast heart rate, who are not for AF fibrillation, not suitable to restore back their normal rhythm, we can burn the junction between the top and bottom chamber of the heart and give them a pacemaker to improve the heart function and to control the heart rate. If we've done that through conduction system basing or his bundle basing, they hopefully will improve symptoms and maintain the function of the heart. Many of these indications are still under research and we are proud to be one of the leading centers in the, in the country to develop research interested in uh, his bundle basing and left bundle basing. So as we started this, this new technology a couple of years ago and we shown by own, our own patient cohort that is very useful and, and successful technology, we started to spread the knowledge. So we conducted the first uh, live course to teach consultant or to train doctors on this new technology in the country. And we run this course every couple of months. People who attend the course normally come with a very positive attitude. They are very um, enthusiastic and keen to start developing the, 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 their own skills. And we collect feedback, the, the very positive feedback and many of the doctors who attended our course start to practice this at their own um, hospitals, which is very good. In my view, this is the future of cardiac pacemakers. In 10 years time or 20 years time, I think this might replace the ordinary pacemaker. But again, I would like to enforce this is a new technology. It is under research and many of the indications are still uh, need to be validated by bigger research and randomized trials. From a patient perspective, this looks like a standard pacemaker procedure. The patient normally come in the morning, have their procedure under local anesthesia and sedation, and go home on the same day. They will have a small incision under the left collar bone, and it takes a bit 30, 40 minutes longer than a standard pacemaker, pacemaker in order to find the, the correct and the nice spot to pace the heart in a physiologic way but we hope this is, will reflect on the clinical picture. So if they have heart failure and they received a conduction system basing, I expect them from day one to start feeling better, performing better, less pressless, and improvement of their heart failure symptoms. If they have the pacemaker for any bradycardia or slow heart rate indication, they should again start feeling better from day one. And the most important on the long term, when they have been using the pacemaker for five or 10 years, they don't develop heart failure.